Hello Corkies, welcome back. I got a really exciting coffee review for you today. It's a Costa Rican Don Mayo La Ladera. And I got it at Sweet Maria's and it's home roasted. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for wine and coffee reviews and how-tos. If you're new here and that sounds exciting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button below so you're notified when future videos come out. Also, hit that little bell so uh, it reminds you when uh, our uploads are fresh and brand new. So today I'm reviewing a Costa Rican coffee. Uh, I picked it up at Sweet Maria's online and roasted it at home. Here's a little clip of uh, me roasting it. I roasted it to about a city plus, in between city plus and full city, so kind of a medium dark, not quite to a, like a French roast or anything like that, um, but I think perfect for this uh, particular coffee, and I'll explain why in a little bit. This is a Costa Rican Don Mayo La Ladera, and it is a wet processed coffee. So I tried roasting this at a few different roast levels. I did a light to medium roast, and it kind of turned out a little bit grassy and like uh, just grainy, um, and really just not too much fruit in it that you get on a lot of other coffees with a, a light roast. So this definitely strives better with a medium dark to a darker roast. This would be really good with espresso and stuff like that. But um, on the nose you get, like for me, this is a, um, like I said, a, like a City Plus, which is like a medium dark. You get kind of some molasses, chocolate notes. You get a lot of nuttiness with this. I get like almonds or like almond butter or like pistachio. Kind of like those little pistachio cookies or almond cookies. Kind of get a lot of that on the nose. And then um, on the taste, along with those nuts, you get some like caramel and a lot of sweetness coming through. Uh, and that's another thing. If you roast this uh, too light, you kind of don't get a sweetness and it's kind of a not very complex cup and it's not that great overall but once you get into a little bit darker I mean a lot of, a lot of that sweetness and molasses flavors come out as well as a lot of those nut characteristics that I was talking about. So as this coffee cools a little bit you do start getting a little bit more fruit characteristics coming through maybe like a little bit of apricot um, maybe some some kind of like berry notes but I mean it's very slight like this one is Definitely more kind of an earthy coffee, I would say. Overall, not too bad of a cup. Um, it's a great one for roasting at home. I use the stove top method. I'd be interested uh, to try different methods with this particular uh, coffee bean and see how it turned out. If you're interested in learning how um, I do my coffee roasting at home, go to our uh, YouTube channel and I got uh, a video, two videos actually, on coffee roasting at home. One is a review of a actual coffee roasting product, and the other is the stovetop me method versus actual an air popcorn popper method. So those are two great cheap ways to begin your coffee roasting journey at home. And like I said, this coffee from Sweet Maria's is Costa Rican. It's a great one to start with, and it's a great one uh, just for all around sipping as well as for your espresso making. All right, that's gonna do it for us here at Cork and Java today. If you like this video, please leave a comment below with what are some of your favorite coffees. I'd like to know. We have a Facebook group on Facebook. It's uh, Cork and Java, so just go and search for us there. We got a Twitter handle, which is at Cork Java, and we also have a Pinterest account, which is pinterest.com slash Cork and Java. Until next time, guys, bottoms up. Yeah.